Hey guys, in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add some tears to someone's face. So tears aren't exactly easy to composite from another image, so I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch. It will require the pen tools, some of the FX options, the pencil tool, and the blur tool. Here we go. So I want you to grab the pen tool. I want you to make sure that the shape layers option is chosen. Double click on the shape, on, this, on the color of it, and pick black so you can easily see it. And then just start clicking down the face to where you think a tear might go. Okay, there you go. Now we want to change the blend mode on this to screen. And it looks like it's gone, but don't worry, it's still there. And then we're going to open up the FX button and click on blending options and start making some changes. The first of which is going to be the drop shadow. So click on drop shadow, make sure the blend mode is multiply, and we're going to change the color of it. I'm going to give you a specific number. It's going to be A88379 and press OK. Change the opacity to 3%. Change the angle of the shadow to 90 degrees and make the distance anywhere from 2 to 5 pixels. I'll keep it at 5 the spread at 1% and the size 3 pixels. Under quality I want you to change your contour to this guy right here. Make sure it is anti-aliased and your noise at zero and your layer knocks out drop shadow option is clicked on. Now go to inner shadow, click on that. We're going to change our color, keep the blend mode at multiply to A88379. Press OK. Same with the distance and size. Add some spread, just 1%. Keep the contour the way it is. And noise at 0%. Now we're going to add an inner glow. Change the blend mode to overlay. Change the color to black. Put the opacity at 5% noise zero. Under elements make sure the technique is softer and the source is edge. Keep the choke zero and keep the size five pixels. That should be fine. Under quality keep the contour the way it is as you see it and change the range to anywhere from 40 to 60 percent. I'll stick with 40. And now we're gonna go to bevel and emboss. Keep the style at inner bevel. Keep the technique at smooth. The depth 70%. The direction stays up. Keep the size at 5 pixels, that's fine. And change our angle to 45 degrees. Use global light, that's fine. Change the angle to 60 degrees. Keep the gloss contour normal the way it is. Highlight mode, keep it screen with white color. Change the opacity of this to 27%. Under shadow mode, keep it at multiply with the opacity at 15%. And now we're going to go to Gradient Overlay. Click on the gradient color itself, so you, that way you get the gradient editor. Double click on this little tab. It's called a color stop. And change the color to 2E1000. Press OK. Click on this tab. Make the location 26%, as well as this tab, 26%. Press OK. We're going to change the opacity to 6%. Change the blend mode to multiply. Keep the style linear. Align with layer, and that should be good. So it's getting there. It's looking a little bit more like a tier but it's not quite there yet. Now I'm going to grab the pencil tool and I'll make sure the foreground color is white and uh, in order to do anything you have to rasterize the shape so we're happy with the shape, press OK and just start adding little pieces of white which will help with reflection. Think about where the source of light is coming from as you're adding reflections. 
and it's getting a little bit of reflection, but it's not that realistic. So we're going to go grab the blur tool. Bring the brush way down. Because last time I was working with it, it was too, it was obviously for something else. And just very carefully apply the blur. Very carefully. And we'll go back to the normal size of this picture. And there you go, there's a tear. Now you can mess around with the opacity and change different things to make it more realistic. But generally, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching guys. Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below. And send any requests you may have about this series to requests at mahalo.com.